a delightful day to everyone. This is Light of the Light Channel, your long-haired preacher. Let me just share to you this verse in Proverbs 22, verse 6, which says there, Train up a child in the way he or she should go. And when he or she is old, he or she will not depart from it. I attended a Bible dedication recently, and the officiating pastor was sharing this specific verse to the mother of this child that, that she should never forget training his babe, her baby in the ways of the Lord. And when I was speaking to my nephew yesterday, I got surprised with our interaction. This eight or nine year old boy was telling me about Jesus Christ. He was telling to me that Jesus is our superhero and he is the one who could rescue us in this situation that we have today. And he even took he and, and he even took time to pray, to pray for all of us. And before I started uh, ministering to our family, I was encouraged seeing this kind of example and understanding this verse in our lives. It is very important that we take part in training the next generation in accordance to the word of God because this is really relevant for them as they grow up and mature in life. And this is our ultimate desire. Uh, as my wife and I uh, would have kids in the future, our goal would always be training our kids in accordance to the word of God. And I would really want to commend my parents when I was in college. My parents always remind me that I have the power to say no to any kind of vices despite of me being far from them because I was residing in a dormitory. And having that kind of training that they imparted to me, I was able to avoid any such, any form of uh, vices that enabled me to graduate college. This is very important for us today. If you are saying that, this, that our generation, the millennials like us, have, are snowflake or weak, what are you doing in shaping our generation today? Because kids are like sponge and, and if, the, if the generation next to us becomes weaker, it is simply because they are absorbing a weak generation. And I hope we don't miss that out. I hope we don't miss that opportunity in training the generation next to us. As our national hero says, the next generation is the hope of our country. And let's take part of making a difference by training the next generation in accordance to the Word of God. And that's for me today. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification icon so that you will be notified for our future contents. And we really appreciate your thumbs up and your comments because we are encouraged by your interaction. God bless everyone. See you tomorrow. Long-haired preacher out for now. God bless.